a reading of the New Testament as rendered by the Gullah people of South Carolina. People part of my lineage right there. Uh, and uh, this is, of course, the King James Version of the New Testament, as you uh, as you can see there, they have the big version, it's a, it's a Gullah language, and the uh, smaller type is the Old English, you know, the Christopher Marlowe, William Shakespeare kind of English. That, you know, basically, uh, I guess the Shakespeare has been taught in schools because they had to replace, or when you go to public school, they wanted to be non-religious because I guess the government has separated the church and state. So because the uh, language was closer, closest to the Bible language, they used a lot of Shakespeare stuff to, um, you know, teach in school, teach English and stuff like that. Anyway, what we do every week, uh, every day, every, well, one week, oh, at least three, th th three to five times a week, let's put it that way, even more, yeah, three to five times, three to six times a week, or six times. We go to any page, let's go to, we can stop at Luke if we want to here, well, let's do Luke. Uh, okay, we'll go to uh, 285, and we'll go to uh, 42, uh, Luke 1942, uh, page 285. He say, I wish on a day in Jerusalem, being no today what thing on a nadefa have peace. But Ona ain't able for sh for Shem now. And the translation, the uh, old English, saying, "If thou hast known, even thou, at least in this day, in in thy in thy day, the things which belong unto thy peace until now, they are hid from thine eyes." That's a long explanation. We usually read it twice, so let's read it again. Ye say, a wish on a day in Jerusalem been known today what thing on a need for have peace, but on a ain't able to shim now. Translation. Saying, if thou hast known even thou, at least in this day, in thy day, the things which belong unto thy peace, but now they are hidden from thine eyes. <coughs> so it says the uh, Gullah Bible, a reading from me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the trains to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.